Confluence is a great tool for creating pages full of useful content for your teammates. And while it can be easy to fill a page with content, well, look at this amazing page I just made. It can be difficult to lay that content out so that it's easy to read through and nice to look at. This can lead to people not being able to find the information they actually need, even if it's right in front of them. To make your content as great as you know it is, the trick is to make it easily skimmable. That way, people can pinpoint the information they need, even if they're on a small screen device. Hi, I'm Matt with K15T, and together we're going to make your page more appealing by immediately communicating its purpose, picking the right layout for the page, grouping content into sections, and giving things the right emphasis to bring attention to the right stuff. So, first things first, let's show people the purpose of the page even before they look at it. It's really important that you let people know what your page is about really, really quickly. Time found that 55% of people spend 15 seconds or less on a page before they decide to leave it. So you have to grab their attention almost immediately. If you've ever heard the term above the fold, this comes from the old newspaper days, and it basically means you gotta put the most important stuff at the top. Especially if people have to scroll down to find the important information, they're probably not gonna read it. The best place to start with this is the title of the page. Now, ideally, it should be really obvious from the title what the page is about. We have a video all about making great page titles, so be sure to check that out. But what if the title isn't enough? What if the topic is too complex to fit in a small title? Well, you have a few options. One is you could communicate what the page is about using a page header. So you can pick from a massive collection of provided header images, or you can upload your own custom image if you want. Do those not work for your page? Well, in that case, you should use basic macros like the info macro to highlight the purpose of the page. Make sure you put it right at the top of the page and keep that text short and sweet so people know, oh, that's why I'm here. So maybe you took a look through all the included page templates in Confluence and you didn't find one that looks exactly the way you want your page to look. By the way, check out our video about templates in Confluence. The first thing you need to do here then is decide how you want to lay out your page. So page layouts are a great way to help presenting your content in just the right way for your readers. The first thing you should decide is the width of the page. Narrow pages are great for linear content, things that people are going to read through like blog posts or employee handbooks. And wide page layouts are great for tabular content like requirements tables or really big diagrams, things that are going to take up an entirely large screen. Also, feel free to apply the wide layout to just tables or images, even if you're using a narrow layout. That way you can have some readable content and then still have some data rich or image rich content as well. Once you've decided on the width of the page, the next thing that you should add are layouts. Now you can add multiple layouts to a page to shape the way the content falls and is displayed in each area. We recommend that you try different layouts to make your page look visually interesting and also to highlight important content. One thing that we found that works well is to add an empty layout in between two that are full of content. That just helps the content seem a little less crammed and allows for additional spacing. So now that we've chosen a layout for our page, we really need to structure the content. We have to show a clear distinction between the sections of the content so that people can easily skim through the entire page to find exactly what they're looking for. And we can do this using heading levels. Use heading levels to build a simple hierarchy on the page with the higher level headings exploring broader topics and the narrower level headings exploring those more specific topics. For even more visual separation, you can add a horizontal line on the page just to kind of break up the content further. Once your headings have been defined, use a table of contents macro to give people a brief overview of everything that's included on the page. We found that the top right hand corner of your layouts is a really great place to put this and it gives readers the option to jump directly to the piece of content that might be interesting to them. So now our page communicates a clear purpose, it's laid out well, and it's split into sections for easy skimming. So finally, we need to make our content a bit more attractive and add some visuals to help our readers. I'm going to use some font formatting here to make this content stand out and also some font color as well to draw this out. And because two thirds of the population are visual learners, I'm going to make sure this image really stands out. Try to add at least one image to your pages. Finally, you can use the expand macro here for what I would call bonus content. It's that content on the page that's not really applicable to everybody reading, but it might be useful to some. Definitely use this for bonus content and not for the important content on the page. We never want to hide that away. And here's a pro tip if you want to take your content beautification to the next level. 
you could check out my team's app, Scroll Viewport. With Scroll Viewport, you can create an online help center with your Confluence content, and it's styled automatically for that great readability and skimmability that's important, and you can customize the look and feel to fit your brand. So check that out. So I hope you're ready to take that page you just made and make that content stand out in just the right way. Hey, Bernice, look at this page I just made. At K15T, we've used these tools and techniques to make all sorts of pages that everybody references every single day. But hey, these are just some of the things we've come up with for making pages look great in Confluence. What do you do to make pages effective for your team? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, there are so many other great things you can do with Confluence. And at K15T, we'd like to draw your attention to all of those. So hit that subscribe button, share this video with another team trying to make beautiful pages in Confluence, and join us for another video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.